Hey everybody, I'm Adam, I'm Sam, and I'm Will, and we are Working Title <laughs> Marvel Edition. What's good everybody? New series. Guys, we are here today for a new Marvel Studios series. As you guys know, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We just finished WandaVision, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling far more optimistic for this show now, just because of that. Oh, this seems more action-packed and yeah. fun. Uh, almost like it's going to be, not like they're detectives, but almost more like of a buddy cop show. Yeah. Like them trying to figure things out. Uh, so, I'm excited about that. I believe yeah. my words were, it looked like it was like a movie quality-esque TV show. In, in Civil War, too, they like kind of like loved hated each other like you know when they got wrapped up by Spider-Man Spider I, Spider I hate you <laughs> you know so can you move over yeah no no <laughs> it's gonna be a good like friend combo I think uh, I'm yeah. curious like doesn't it seem like from the trailer that none of them wants to touch the shield yeah they don't want to use Captain America's shield like they haven't earned it I feel like yeah I feel like it'll be that kind of thing like they have to feel like they've earned or, that yeah, mantle yeah. just because it's such a high thing to live up to. Because Captain America is pretty much like a war hero now, mm -hmm. like a big time war hero. Yeah. I mean, he was a war hero once. Prior. And he, beca and he became <laughs> another like, one. A world war hero. Yeah. So. yeah. And a universe war hero. Yeah, so. True. Um, yeah, so we're just going to jump into it. So, guys, if you like these videos, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to our channel if you've been here before and you want to stay for more Marvel. We're going to be doing Loki. We're going to be doing, obviously, this show. We already have WandaVision, which you can go check out. And we do tons of other shows. So, make sure you go check that out. Guys, it's not a market substitute. If you have not seen The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, go watch on Disney Plus, then come back to YouTube and watch our channel, baby. We're gonna punch it. Bah! New world order. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's get it. Like, Isn't Zemo supposed to be in this too? I think so. Yeah, he's like I think he's one of the main bad guys. Him and the girl from Star Wars Solo, Solo yeah. yeah. With yes. The red hand wearing Enfys. a mask. Go figure. Enfys Nest was her name of it? Yeah. I was wondering, like, is Bucky still gonna have, like, brain issues? I think that they fixed him in Wakanda. Yeah. You sure? That, that's yeah. the whole I mean, purpose that's of why he went there. They never said it. I mean, they never brought it up like it was an issue, but I mean, there's so much going on, he's not really the focus, so. I love all the memes of him, where it's like, when he's smiling, it's like he knows something you don't know. Anthony Mack. Yeah. Oh, He's got like the. Yeah. <laughs> He's really fun to watch. Like behind the scenes for Marvel. He's so lighthearted. I wonder how much that like weighs. To I was like, just about to say that. Like a standard human. Why do I feel like this is going to be like a really sad show? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm ready for that, man. Oh. So we're starting right in the desert scene? Potentially. U.S. military cannot be seen operating out there. I got it. So he went back to the military. It's Sam. This has to be subtle. Subtle. Got it. <laughs> got it. That's so cool. I know. I, I forget who even made that. Is this just like shield tech? It was just like military tech. Yeah. He, they, he said he was a wingsuit guy for like the air uh, of the military. Yep. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. You do Hey! Oh, uh, the kickboxer. Yeah, yeah. He was in Winter Soldier, right? Yeah, yeah. At the very beginning. Is that kickboxer? He's, I think he's a kickboxer. Yeah. He looks like George St. Pierre from the UFC. I think that is him. Whoa. Oh, oh my. Okay, I love this shield. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh damn. Oh, they're going down. Man, if this is the scene of Bucky, how the heck does Bucky get here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're kidnapping. Yeah. Bane hijack. Oh. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> it's like point break. Oh. oh. Okay, nice. I was afraid he was just gonna yeah, start just slicing some yeah, parachutes. Yeah. Just dropping them. Oh. 
pockets. Oh, so this is like the action pack scene from the trailer. Some of this is going to start to get blown up. Rip. Imagine having a little drone that can just easily defeat a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, just cause, it's just cause! He's got a grappling oh, hook, yes! This is get to the border. He's not gonna follow. What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. Well, there you go. I can't remember what group that was when a soldier, the group that they're chasing right now. Yeah. I don't think they're Russian. I don't, I don't know the language, though. I thought they were French. Yeah, they're French. Okay. Woo. Oh no. Oh no way! There we go, there we go. Woo! Bye. Are you dead? Okay. No. That was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Americans are just like following down below. Yeah, like, like, wow, yes. We're so helpful. You guys recording that? There's... Oh, oh bam, right there. You see, these guys, these are the guys you gotta worry about. I've been stumbling onto their manifestos on message what? boards. Basically, they think that the world is better during the blip. What? Trust me, it, it wasn't. Trust me, every time something gets better for one group, it's worse for another. Thanos, crazy. Thanos sympathizers. Wow. Unified without borders. So you can see why a lot of people are into that. And he mastered posing stoically. Oh, hey, hey Rody! been forever changed. Dang, I already lost Iron Man too. A few yeah. months ago. Thank you, Captain America. This is crazy. This is a TV show. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. I gave it to you for you to use, not to throw in a museum. Yeah. As we said, it's probably, yeah, he'll probably get it eventually. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll have to break in to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I need that back, actually. I kind of like, <laughs> I, I lied. I mean, yeah. We need it. I love that roadie's here. Wow. Yeah, this is really sad. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was worried it's going to put up, put me into a depressive state. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Gosh. <laughs> Holy. Oh, he's got his long hair. Oh. oh. wait, is this a flashback? Yeah. Oh. Yep. It might be. Or maybe he just keeps the mask on. No, no he, his he's arm got, is yeah. original. Yeah, you're right. He doesn't have the vibranium. Shoot. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got the flag, the, the red star. Star. <laughs> this could be like Bucky's remembering this. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's gonna put him down. Won't even matter, even if he gets through the door. Oh. Yep. Mm. With your history, the government needs to know that you're not gonna... Oh, boy. <laughs> Knock him out. Yeah. It's a condition. Oh, no. Shoot up a mall or something. Rule number two. What was rule number two? <laughs> Oh. Nobody gets hurt. It's a big one. Then why isn't it rule number one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear anybody. I promise. Oh boy. The sound. I'm no longer the Winter Soldier. I'm James Bucky Barnes, and you're part of my efforts to make amends. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, I didn't have any. This is great, actually. Yeah. Look, hey, give me your phone. Oh, God. <laughs> He's gonna have like, no, no like his contacts. Yeah, there's nobody. nobody. You don't have 10 phone numbers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been ignoring the text from Sam. Aw, oh, poor Sam. Look, you've got to nurture friendships. I am the only person <laughs> you have called all. You should ask out. Yeah. He would like to take you out on a date, maybe a <laughs> bingo or a night of pinnacle. <laughs> I'm really sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Wow. Let's get I'm it. Now warm up. I haven't danced since 1943. <laughs> Feels like. 
I was gonna say maybe he makes friends with older company because it's the most relatable it can be for him. What is that for? He had a job with a consulting company, and uh, he was working abroad. And he was the guy killed. Oh. The police said, "Wrong place, wrong time." But uh. Is that why he became friends with that guy to like make amends? Yeah, I thought it was because he's just an older dude, but dang, man. Mm. Oh. oh, I hate that screeching of the Winter Soldier sound. Yeah. I keep wanting to go up with Sam Fisher. What's his name again? Sam. Uh, what is his last name? I don't know. Uh, Shrimp. Force Gump here. Sam Wilson. Sam Wilson, yeah. I thought we were going to discuss if we were selling it. We did. And then you were off fighting Dr. Space Cake or whatever while I was holding it for five more years. Dr. Space Cake. Sarah. Sarah. Look, don't hit me again. <laughs> Is he going to take this girl out? Nah, it's not going to ruin the date. Well, if that's not the most adorably old fashioned thing anyone's ever done. <laughs> I'm afraid she's just gonna try to put him down. That's what I was thinking. Like she's a sleeper agent so or something. Wait, how old are you? 106. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the thing. No one knows the Winter Soldier. Let's play a game. Yeah. You like games? Love Gone. It. Okay. A couple games around the boring chefs. Y'all made me nervous now thinking she's a sleeper agent. That's I don't what I'm thinking. Everything <laughs> seems so tense with him. Nothing ever goes well with him. Why, Why is he? Uh, hit. <laughs> drink. Ah. Uh, drink. Battle shots. Great game. Well, there's no word for someone whose kids died. It's, it's not, like the worst thing that can happen. It's not supposed to happen like that. You did? PTSD, man. Yeah. It's hitting hard. Damn, he just bounced. Oh, I don't blame him. Man, it's hard, I'm sure. Hey. Oh, he's got oh, no. How was the day? Oh, no! Yeah, I don't. Uh, oh my gosh. How's he supposed to like make amends for that? You know yeah, what I mean? like you really can't. Place where we get some... There's no such thing as on time. You're either early or late. Pick one. Okay, now you're really doing more than the most. All right, boys, I love you. <laughs> He's acting like his sister's and... probably still like 20. Yeah. In reality, she's okay. grown up. Yeah. Do you think she disappeared when the snap happened? Well, we know he did. He did. Yeah. Oh, so he wasn't right. there with his family. Yeah, he wasn't around when she got to grow up. He's doing his little investigation. Right. Oh yeah, looking for the red hand. What? He's a part of it. Yeah. Oh, it's just all oh people. Oh my gosh, they all are. There's all people waiting for it. Well, he. Oh. Okay. Oh, is this the girl? Might be him just trying to figure out what's happening. And yeah, it is definitely. <laughs> What, what the, the hell? Okay, so we got supers. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so oh, we got supers. Oh, oh god, this kid's on. Whoa! Broken back. Oh god! Oh. Did he just squish his head in? No. Uh, He's got a nice gash, though. Sorry, I keep thinking, did you used to play for LSU? I mean, do I know you from somewhere? Oh. I knew it, Falcon! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Let's Five. do it! I don't want to say anything, you know? I always wanted to be an Avenger. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Is there some kind of fun for heroes, or did Stark pay you when he was around? My condolences, by the way. Um, thank <laughs> you, but no, it doesn't really work like that. There's a tremendous amount of goodwill. <laughs> you have no income over the last five years. How can you have income if you don't exist? Sarah, 
Is there any chance, but of course you can say no, that I could get a selfie with your arms out? Are you serious? <laughs> Never would have thought of a hero having a financial problems. Yeah. Gosh. They just give it to Bucky. <laughs> Bucky lives in it. <laughs> yeah. That's his new adventure. Dude doesn't even sleep in a bed. He sleeps on the floor. He's probably not comfortable with a bed. And what Falcon and Cap said feels like they're uh, getting swallowed by a bed. Yeah. Remember, he also like lived in like a tube for most <laughs> of his life. Literally lived in a cryo tube. And when that wasn't happening, sleeping in a chair that shocks you. So this is the leader of the Flag Smashers, huh? Yeah, real nice guy. But you know, sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. Or a uh, broken orbital. <laughs> okay, that's all you got. He's strong. He was, I mean, bro, it went dark as soon as it was all over. Wait, you don't think you could be a... But I'll circle back to you. Let's keep this between me and you, okay? Uh, oh my God, Sam. Better look at this. Oh, no. In the wake of recent events, we need a real person who embodies America's greatest values. We need someone to inspire us again. Oh, the fake Captain someone America, whatever. Who can be a symbol I was gonna say, does somebody steal a shield? Your new Captain America. Yeah, it's the guy from the trailer at the stadium or whatever. What? Yeah. That guy looks like a douche. douche. What a dork. <laughs> oh, I got shoot. this guy. Wink. Oh yeah, GSP. Who was that? Was the, the dude at the beginning, the, the kickboxing the guy. Fighter. He's a I was, I was iconic sure. UFC fighter. That stuff was the same guy from Winter Soldier. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a legend in the UFC. He's like one of the first dudes to have two titles. Well, that was episode one of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The New World Order. A New World Order. I'm assuming, so you think that's the red group? Red hand? Yeah, maybe. I, I don't think it necessarily... I, like, I don't take it as a literal, like... When people say New World Order, it's always like, uh, this is the new, like, ruling faction. I think yeah. it's just the, the fact that it's a new world. Everything, like, everything's yeah. new yeah. about this. Like. Nice People, I mean, even just simple, getting a loan. Yeah, it's yeah, down to the bank stuff yeah. versus like we don't really have heroes that we can look up to now. Mm -hmm. Like the world's in chaos. That's pretty crazy. Like I didn't really think of that. They were talking when I, I think it was they were in Tunisia and this young looking guy who was talking to Falcon. They were like, "Yeah, we got a whole group of people that are like so, unifying around the idea of we don't want the other billion people to come back to Earth." Yeah. Now I'm trying to figure out they they didn't make it seem like it's because of like they support Thanos' idea. It's it sounded like they liked the idea of because of a big threat that happened on Earth, the the nations were able to unite and yeah. like broke all old hate towards one another and it was like just a u unifying yeah. thing. Yeah, they unified it unified the world and he said something like like there were no borders at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, as he said, of course people are going to love the idea of, like, a unification. And then you have everybody come back and it's like, what is happening? Yeah, right. it, that really, it's really a crazy idea. It's like, well, you definitely want the people back, but of course it's going to add such complications. Like, it's crazy that they're even, like, talking about the bare bones of, like, you've been gone for five years. What uh, money did you think you were making? It's like... Yeah. <laughs> Or like the idea of like what does a he uh, like the conversation do heroes ever make money? That's what yeah. I, was, I was gonna bring up. Like I've been talking with a coworker who's in the military, and there's like crazy benefits. They make a lot of money in the military, and then hearing yeah. that heroes don't make anything. Well, yeah, interesting he, that a lot of it goes to goodwill. Do you say that? Or yeah. Charity? He, he said he said a lot of it is just goodwill of goodwill. Like people treating them right. Because I mean, if you think about it, they're not like. Up until, like, it's, like, Captain America. It's, like, they're all kind of just doing their own thing. And it's just, like, oh, you saved... You know, I mean, it could be as simple as you saved my uncle once free lunch whenever you come yeah. to my restaurant. You know what I mean? So I think that's just, like, what they live off of. Yeah. And then it's, like, you're Tony, so you own nine... You have over, like, $500 billion yeah. in, like, value. Yeah, you're, across living, like, yeah like, you're living with a billionaire who's in charge yeah. of your operations. I mean, all of them got to live at that, like, second, that, like, Jersey facility. Yeah. Was, like, yeah. the Avengers facility. So it's like, they didn't have to worry about anything. 
That yeah. got destroyed, right? My Thanos' yeah. ship. Yeah, the yeah. one in New York got literally yeah. bombed. Just got totally effed up. And that's the thing, too. It's like the two main supporters of the initial Avengers initiative are not present. So, and I was wondering that, too, because, like, Wanda kind of just went off and did her own thing. Falcon is off back with the military doing some spec ops. Yeah, the Air Force. And then... And Winter Soldier is just going through rehab with them. What I'm assuming is also the Army... Yeah, that's what I was gonna bring up. I think, it's, I think, he's it's, also, I think it's just through the government. It sounds yeah. like he's doing missions. We saw him. Yeah. He's um well, they all were, the, the supporters of Hydra, he's trying to like Stop it. Yeah, I think he's I think it's just part of his like rehab been making to, yeah. amends and like getting rid of the his past problems. Right. So whether it's apologizing to, you know, the father of the guy he killed, or if mm. it's, you know, leaking the info of a politician he helped put in power. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got Falcon just trying to live a daily life of a hero that's in no longer a really or it's post hero society as mm-hmm. of where it currently stands currently stands. There's no big threat that needs them. So well, he's no, just back with his They were saying they need a new hero throughout the episode. I th- yeah. He just doesn't think he's worthy. I think it's yeah. more so person. the title of a hero. Yeah. Not like you need a hero to save the day. It's just we need a figure because everything's in chaos, which Falcon didn't really... Like, he felt like he wasn't worthy of being that honor. Yeah. But America yeah. was just like, well, we need it. So, random dude, come down, quick. Yeah. John Walker. And they picked, like, some, like, doofy-looking dude. I mean, it was kind of like what the original... <laughs> The original Captain America was just, like, a random, like, dumb symbol to, like, hype up yeah. the troops. I wonder if it's, like, somebody that's, like, actually, like, somewhat special. Like, like has does he have powers? Yeah. Some ability. small degree. Or if he's just, like, literally just an icon. Like, just nothing. I feel like with the way they presented it, like, he has to be just an icon. Okay. With Falcon's story, uh, I like his family story because it's different. And it's yeah. something that's, like, not necessarily, like... It's more character developing and yeah. like showing the background of like where he's from and where he's what he had to deal with because we never really got to see that. We don't know yeah. much about his history. Yeah. So his family's from Louisiana. He has a sister named Sarah. Two kids. His, she's a widow. Yeah. She, I, so they didn't. They weren't clear on like what happened to the husband. If it was a result of something that happened during the blip or prior. I think the it husband prior. died prior, and she was left by herself to take care of the children because the parents were also not around. Yeah. Uh, I think everybody that that was in their family that died died before the blip. Mm-hmm. So yeah. she was just kind of left by herself because Falcon wasn't even allowed yeah. to stay behind after the snap. And Falcon like left his family for whatever reason. Yeah. So it's yeah. like something bad happened to them before the blip, and now he feels like yeah he to like right his wrongs because he wasn't there to help them th- yeah. for whatever the reason was. Yeah. I think he just he probably if it was he just feels guilty of what's what had transpired yeah I couldn't tell if it was like a f- family issue if there was like an abusive situation he just couldn't handle and he went to the military I I, I couldn't tell what vibes I was getting but uh, yeah you, you she said like you left and you didn't you weren't here to see what mom and dad went through I think she said yeah, yeah. So, I don't know what that means yeah. if it was like just the parents clashing and he couldn't take it or could just be right health off. issues since they're both yeah. dead yeah yeah oh that too health and financial issues considering that they're struggling now too yeah I wanted to talk about when he's uh, Falcon is looking at the recording and the the military dude says what do you mean you think it's and then he's like stop this is just gonna be between you and I what is he talking about? Is he just? I think he probably he just, just like, he's like. You a think super, there's superheroes or supervillains? I think he just thinks it's a super a super person. Power, like yeah. they have powers. Yeah. Just by the way he was. I mean, like that's honestly, if you just think about all of MCU, the only people we've ever seen kick someone like that is like Cap. Yeah. Like super strength, or so, like another um, type of super soldier serum or yeah. something. He could be yeah. worried about that. Is I, there an, I was gonna ask. Is there a name for that serum that he was injected with? Super, super soldier, soldier serum. Super soldier? Okay. Yeah. I don't know how it's conducted. Like I think Falcon's probably going about it the Avengers way, where it's like if a super thing is added into the equation, you don't really talk about it out loud because you don't want it to get spread further. Like the idea of a an yeah. average human being able to go and find this thing that can get you all yeah. hyped up and because like that kind of power is dangerous. People will go seeking for that. So. Yeah. And I mean the other thing too to think about like. All of our, like, the main here, like, we don't know what Bruce Banner's doing because he, yeah. he got, like, fried in that. His arm, yeah. Um, we don't even know if he's still Hulk. He's, he's, he's still, still Hulk. He's still Smart Hulk, Hulk or whatever. Or or Bruce Hulk. Too. Thor's traveling the universe, yeah. and then Cap and Iron Man are dead. So it's Hawkeye. like, 
Uh, but but like those guys are like the main power, most powerful oh. ones, and then the next person you would even think to that's most powerful is Wanda. After you know Hulk, yeah. Thor, all the main Avengers, Wanda, and she's rogue. So it's like they really they don't have T'Challa is the only other one, but he's a king of a nation, so mm-hmm. he's off doing his own thing. Yeah. So it's like there's literally not a single hero that can like yeah. the, who are they supposed to trust? Tom Holland, who's like seventeen, yeah. eighteen <laughs> in high school. world, yeah. It's very, it, it is actually interesting, like, now thinking of just, like, where everybody currently is. Everybody's so spread out, because, like, we've now seen Spider-Man's story post-Endgame, Wanda, um, we don't know where T'Challa or Doctor Strange are currently, but I'm assuming, like you said, they're both probably back to running, running things. Yeah. So now we just kind of have all the leftover, like, miscellaneous characters to deal with. Yeah. Is there anyone we missed? I mean, Captain Marvel's probably out in the universe Marvel, oh, yeah, protecting the universe bigger, like she did. Bigger stuff. The Guardians are with, with Thor, Thor trying to find Gamora. Is that her name? Gamora. Yeah. Gamora ran away. Gamora ran away. Yeah, it's just it's just crazy. Like <laughs> the the group really is disbanded. Uh, I, but it's also exciting because in the future it'll be interesting to see like now having chess pieces placed everywhere, like how it'll come together. Yeah. Um. Talking on Winter Soldier's story a bit, so we had Unique, and we had Nor- Naraki, Nor- I can't remember the guy's name, Nori, Nori. is what called him, yeah. whose son was, you know, killed by Winter Soldier. Yeah, in the wrong place at the wrong time, like you said. Now, we saw the girl at the bar, and I think the one in the after credits was, was yeah, her, it and she like had it. batons, or something like that. Shield agent, or something? She might be something. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, I don't know. Like, I don't want to just automatically suss somebody, but, like, the sh- the, anything that has to do with Cap and Winter Soldier, always there's always, like, a double yeah, standard yeah, exactly. who's, who's involved in their life. There's always some form of espionage. No one was ever there by accident. It's always, like, His neighbor, for God's sake, was a shield agent. Yeah, who might have been his agent. daughter. Yeah, yeah who, who might have been his daughter. daughter. That know. he met out with. <laughs> yeah, I think she's in this show, too. Isn't uh, Peggy Carter, and what's the daughter's name? I don't remember. It starts, starts with an S. I just like know Shannon that, or Shelby. I just know that it's it's probably they made his out. daughter. Yeah, they like were like a thing in they the They liked each other. Movie. Okay. They both went to the funeral too. Oh, then, I don't know how that works yeah. though. Like I don't know if like that would, that's just a set in stone thing. I, somebody, like, somebody said that they I, or one of my friends told me they saw an interview with the Russo brothers and they asked it might have been like IGN they asked the Russo brothers like about that and they were like just don't think about it <laughs> <laughs> just brush it off it's like okay, well. like in my mind like how I think it worked because how they did the time travel not to go off from the show but how I thought the like, that worked like once you go and change something in time like it just creates another universe so wherever Cap was I thought that was just a separate universe where he got to grow up and then once that was done then all the whole goal of dropping the Infinity Gems having a good life with this girl jumps back through the portal and is now back in his place well, so that girl was never his daughter the one thing I think that's weird about that whole situation is how did he only had like, unless he just kept the equipment and he still had the pin particle. That's what I meant, yeah. yeah. Like, to come back, like, after, like, 90 years, or, you know, after, like, 50 years, or how old he was. The one thing I wasn't super hot on the episode is in the whole action sequence, the camera that was, like, so hard to follow at some moments. Yeah. Like, it was, like, super shaky, and, like, shit was just, like, moving really fast. Like, I don't, like, it's almost seemed like the, in the plane, too, like, I was just like, I can't really tell what's going on right Yeah, now. it's a tight space. It's a little yeah. hard to work off of. But the camera just shaked so much. Like, it was, like, super close. Like, they're fighting, and it's, like, on their arms, and it's, like, whoop, yeah, you know, it's just, like, flopping, like, right in front of yeah. what's going on. I don't know, it just felt like a lot for me to focus on, but also been up since 4 a.m., so. <laughs> that could just be it. I could just be, like, stupid right now. I think one of the better fights were probably... The Winter Soldiers quick scene in yeah. that like open museum area wherever the yeah. they were. That scared the hell out of me. It was a little brighter too, so Woo. there was a little bit more like lighting to work off of. Yeah, I'm ready for their chemistry for yeah. them to be together because oh. I think it'll be great. It'll be good. I, I, I'm with you, saying This was a very sad episode too. It there was. was a lot of depressing stuff. It was. It's They're mostly both going through shit. It, yeah, it's a result of the characters we have, both in their form of turmoil. A dude who was. You know, he he's hit his prime as a cool hero when heroes are really cool, and now they're not really, like, super prevalent. And even though he has the position of choosing, it's like he, he's trying to honor the name and getting the flack for it. Like, yeah. he, chose to be, um, he chose to be good and not go with just up, up and taking the shield and be like, yeah, I'm Cap. 
and in return, he's getting skewed over. Because, honestly, if he took the shield and said, I'm Captain America, he probably would have gotten the loan, funds. Yeah. The funds, yeah. the loans. But, and that's another thing, too. Like, I thought he would have gotten a pension because he did two tours in Iraq, I think is what he said. Mm-hmm. But regardless, like, he... I don't know if that just, like, gets dropped because of the the blip. They just can't support that. Yeah, I mean, that, that's probably it. And also, jobs that offer pensions, I feel like... You have to hit a year. You, n- yeah, it's like, you have to be... Like, a, most places, like, 20 years. Yeah. I just didn't know how it works, because, like, I know, like, military's changed. So, like, yeah. it's hard. I mean, the blip, I could, blip literally throws everything in the air. Yeah, that also makes things complicated. But, like, I'm sure he would have had all the accessibilities... Had he just said, yeah, I'll be the cap that you need. Um, and then you get, yeah, and then speaking of depression as well, like you got Fal- uh, the Winter Soldier who's had 90 years of turmoil in his mind doing things that he didn't want to do. And now it's just like, it's, it He's is him. It, yeah. It's literally a part of him. He can't escape from it, it whether he wants to or not. Like, it's a, it's a cruddy situation because he was the living body that did all those things, but it wasn't like he actively wanted to go do all those things, and yet he still has to deal with the repercussions because he was the physical weapon that <laughs> destroyed so many. It's such a cruddy situation, man. Yeah. I would hate that, man. Yeah. <laughs> so not fair. But. I was going to bring up uh, for Falcon. Um, mm. is At this point, is Old Cap dead, or is he just. Know. He doesn't exist? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if, he, we, if, he just handed off the shield and yeah. left. So, okay. I mean, like, we don't know. I mean, I was going to say, like, this dude really looked up to Captain America, and now, like, well, he's gone now. So what am I going to do? Yeah. I don't know if, like, I was wondering that when they did the, like, kind of the, memor- the yeah. official memorial. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, like, I wonder if, like, Cap, as an old man, will appear one more time in the show. Is he, like, actually dead? Did he go back to that other world, if that's still an right. option? Or... <laughs> Or is it just, like, a quiet send-off? Like, we're just not going to see him. Like, that was his death. Just his, him departing yeah. with his two bodies. Like, it's hard to know. Yeah. I mean, it could have been something like that. Like, maybe he, you know... Because I, I kind of... When we saw Endgame, I kind of took it as, like, he lived his life fully and, like, maybe, like, Peggy was gone. And, like, you know, his kids grew up or grandchildren or whatever. And he's just like, I have one last thing I have to do. And takes yeah. a shield and he's just, like, yeah. ready to, like, you know be done with life at that point because mm-hmm. he's lived a hell of a long one yeah oh uh, that was the other reason why i thought it It just it literally couldn't be a th- like how would two caps be existing in that like how would people not know about an old captain america just chilling around like yeah. in some yeah. neighborhood sure at least he has such a famous face people would know yeah and they would be like cap's not able to escape the paparazzi if beyonce can't escape it yeah <laughs> You know? Yeah. Oh, so one thing we haven't touched on, the Red Hand group, Enfist Nest's group, uh, which we obviously know she's a part of. Yeah. They didn't... I saw her briefly. I think she was the one who was down on the ground. I didn't see her jump out of the window. It was the dude who jumped out of the window. Yeah. I thought she was one of the girls, one of the people who took one of the bags. Yeah. I think she was the one who came up and gave up the masks. masks. She was the one who took the masks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who might have been one of the ones who took the bag. I don't know. Right. Um, I just love that, like... Mm -hmm. She got, uh, what is it called, typecast as the mask wearer. Yeah. yeah. This is what this girl's face be shown, man. <laughs> the heck? I follow her on Instagram. That's random. Doesn't matter. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> let Aaron, uh, show off. I'm, I'm curious, like, what that's all part of. So, I, like, what, what is their end goal? If they, uh, what they enjoyed was the unification of the world prior. <laughs> it's not like they could do a re, a re blip. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what, well, you're I just mean, gonna. Maybe their just goal is to cause chaos and try and like dismantle like if they get enough people on their side to cause like anarchy and like destabilize yeah. the government, or, then they can like, all just rule as we, they want. We've like already the seen closest thing is just cause mass genocide. The closest you can get to it. There's one superhero or superhuman of them. Maybe they're trying to make more. Yeah. Do you think that's more? Because of did you notice capsule? in the end credit there's blue little capsules? Blue capsules. There's I, blue little capsules that looked like. The, they were a serum, a serum or something. Oh, well, Cap had blue shot into him, and so did Bucky. Yeah. Did so? Yeah, Bucky does have what Cap has too, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a super soldier. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if anybody does from like comics, but they never specified in the MCU that he has like like Hydra was doing something similar at least. But yeah. they, you know, because they did something completely different yeah. with making Bucky. Hence, like they gave him a metal arm and brainwashed him. Yeah, I just remember all those guys out in like Siberia, or whatever. 
that were all like they were so strong they were beating up all the police guards up in that like winter castle because they were all trying to escape oh yeah all of who Baron Age of Ultron you know Baron Zemo popped them all in the head we had we didn't see him at all, so I don't. I actually I don't think Baron's associated with the red the red hand group. He's probably in jail, in prison or something. But we saw oh, I, maybe he's not like a big figure. In the trailer, we saw like them drop bullets in front of him. Yeah. So maybe he's not a big figure at all. I just assumed maybe he might have some hand, but maybe it's as simple as like just going to talk to somebody. Maybe it's Falcon or like the Winter Soldier going and like needs. A man to talk to. Yeah. Somebody that's been kind of in the world that he's been in. Yeah. Yeah. So that he can have somebody relatable. Or like is he at, if he has info on those people. Sure. Try to get too. it out of him. Which I'm assuming wherever we find Baron, we'll, we'll also find Cap's uh, girlfriend from uh, Winter Soldier. Yeah. I think her name is like Sharon or something. Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon Carter. Carter. Um, we got Rudy's in the show too. Yeah. Mr. Don Rudy. Cheadle. Yeah. That's that a nice little cameo. Very nice. That also helps put things like, makes the world feel like it's not random B-list characters. Yeah, yeah. You make it feel like the world still exists, yeah. Yeah. which is really nice. Still some Avengers around. Yeah, and he's not doing much either because he got his legs busted. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. He didn't have the leg braces on that he's always had. Well, we didn't see him. There was no shots showing his legs out. No, think. there were. We had a full body of them walking around. He Could've didn't been. have any of the braces on. Could have been under his pants. You don't know. Just Stark. extra large pants. Stark tech. So, I mean, he might. Oh, be, that is true. It could have been something like that. It might be something like more because he was in rehab at first, so it was yeah. like this giant mechanism. But you know, who knows? Maybe he'll. Maybe he's wearing some type of like. Could be like a nanobot in his yeah, spine or something. Like cy- cyber. Yeah. Leg type yeah. of deal. Like Iron Man was making a time machine for all the whoever knows how many months he might have made a little gadget for him yeah. as like a parting way of a gift. I just don't. He probably won't. I don't know where he will ap- ever appear in these movies again. He's kind of always been a back character who hasn't done. He hasn't ever really done too much. Too much. Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, that's when he lost his legs. That was like when he had the most screen time. But but in my mind, like he's always like been a back. They haven't really given him. Much yeah, he's to a backseat character. They gave him like a whole scene of him losing his legs and Iron Man getting so pissed off. Not even that. that. Him talking with generals and but, politicians. But he's like the most. They did that because he's like the most expendable. Like all, all the all the other characters have had, like things to like be important to the story. And yeah. the first like, the first Iron Man movie, he was a big character too. It was it was Terrence Howard at that point, yeah. not Don Cheadle. Yeah, that was fun. Those mm-hmm. days, I remember. I remember watching Iron Man one, being so stoked when they showed the silver outfit and Terrence yeah. was like, "Next, Next time, time baby." <laughs> and I was like, "War Machine!" Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, make sure you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, show your support in whichever ways you can. Show this video to one of your friends who likes Marvel by sharing and sending it to their phone. Uh, check out some of our other videos. We got The Mandalorian, anime. We got, what is it, The WandaVision show. Go check it out. So, uh, for the time being, we're going to punch it, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.